This is Nina Curley of WAMDA. I'm here with Harun Gunner and Burke Alevi of Butigo, a Turkish women's high heel company. How are you guys? Great. Uh, thanks for having us here. How about you? Good. Um, so tell us about Butigo. Um, you just mentioned to me that you are going to expand from Turkey into the MENA region. Um, how do you plan to target women in MENA? We plan to target by doing our homework first understanding women in MENA, uh, just like we understood the women in Turkey, uh, and then we'll start uh, providing them with the stuff that they would love wearing and that would make them feel special and pampered. How did two guys get into creating women's high heels? Two guys and a, and a chick. Where's she? Yeah, the chick is actually sick today, so she wasn't able to attend, but uh, yeah, we have a, a female partner as well. She's she used to be a jewelry designer in New York, so she's really into fashion. And we have right now a team as well of, uh, we are about a, a team of 30 now, uh, with designers designing uh, our merchandise and merchandisers forecasting the trends and what would fit uh, whatever region we are operating in. What sets your shoes apart? We are highly fashionable. Uh, I mean, what you could get at Sox Fifth Avenue in New York for a thousand bucks, you'll be able to get with Butigo at really affordable price. Uh, it's like close to what the private shopping sites are selling at 90% discount. When you enter Mina, are you going to be competing with sites like Namshi that sell shoes across the board? Um, they're actually selling, they're, they're a platform selling, like collecting a lot of brands together and, and providing these to consumers. Uh, whereas we are uh, a shoe brand, um, an accessories brand as well, and we custom design our every product uh, and source them from our partners and brand them and provide them. So we are a shoe brand basically that is doing its business online as opposed to doing it on retail. Uh, so that will be a differentiator. Uh, so we are not, we can't say that we are directly competing with them because Michael VIP might be competing with Namshi, uh, but we will not directly be competing with them. I might be thinking that we might be competing directly with more of the online, offline uh, retail uh, shoe market as opposed to the online. But of course we're gonna, uh, we wanna disrupt that market, but we also will get share from uh, the other uh, guys that you mentioned as well, maybe. Cool. And will you actually sell your shoes on other e-commerce sites, or are you going to only sell them on your own site? Uh, on our own site, as of now. And do you guys think you'll rebrand when you enter the region, or will you keep the same brand for the entire area? We will. The name might, uh, I mean, that will depend on how people accept it. The name might stay the same, will probably stay the same, uh, but we will localize everything we do, because uh, like if you look at what uh, women in, in, uh, in the U.S. wear, uh, they wear more flats because they're uh, taller, uh, as opposed to women in here, they like wearing more uh, high heel things. Uh, so there are always differences. If you take one thing and copy it uh, just in some other place, it will never work out. Uh, and that's what we have actually observed from other companies as well, e-commerce company. So we won't do that mistake and we'll localize. Cool. Well, keep us posted on your expansion. Thanks for chatting with WAMDA. Okay, thanks for having us. Thank